got the baconettes, chicarones, chicarones, hot sauce flavor. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. Welcome back to another episode of Snacky Snack Saturday. Hope y'all have had a great weekend so far. Like always, don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notification. That way you don't miss a single video when I upload them. We got us a little product today. It's another store shelf product from a great place at Walmart, if you want to call it that. We got the Baconettes. Chicarones. Chica. Rones hot sauce flavor. It's in the Frank's Red Hot sauce. I don't know that I've ever done an official review on Frank's Red Hot. Maybe that's something I need to do one day. It was uh, probably one of my gateway sauces, if you'll call it that. One of my favorite chicken wing sauces. Mix it up with some butter. Throw it on some chicken wings on the grill. I love that stuff. It was kind of one of my go-tos. Still one of my go-tos. Uh, over like some of the other traditional hot sauces that you get. So I seen these the other day. Figured I'd grab them up, do a little review on them. Uh, love pig skin. Love Frank's Red Hot, so this ought to be pretty good. Got just a little bit of a hot sauce smell upon opening the bag, but mostly you're getting the pork rinds. Uh, let's see if we can read down the ingredients on this, if it's not too crazy. Starts with five fried pork rinds. It's a good start. Salt, maltodextrin, made from corn, citric acid, monosodium glutamate, natural flavor, sunflower oil, malic acid, sodium diacetate, cayenne pepper sauce. That's the, that's the Franks that you got there, which consists of aged cayenne peppers, vinegar, vinegar solids, salt, garlic powder. Then you got artificial color, red, 40, late, yellow, 60, late, hut, height, and sugar. Let's give these a try. Let's pull them out of the bag, see what we're dealing with. Some of the other products that we've been reviewing here lately have lacked on the coating of the seasoning. These seem to be coated on both sides, at least. So let's give these a try. Savor the flavor. Got a little bit of heat to it, not much. You're mostly getting you're getting that heat from the cayenne peppers, but they don't really taste like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Uh, you're getting the vinegar for sure off of it. really well done uh, pork rind those who know me know that I can't tell uh, you gotta be done just right for a saucy to chew on these are good and fluffy $2.29 a bag not too bad like I said the vinegar a little overbearing this one's probably the most coated one I've seen out of the bag so far. You kind of get a, an idea of what you're talking about there. I don't really like to give halves on a heat scale, but I'm going to have to give this a half. I can detect heat. It's more of a twang than a heat, so I don't really want to give it a full scale one. I'm gonna give it a half. Oh. Frank's Red Hot, I put that on everything down there at the bottom. Like I said, it's got a little bit of the Frank's Red Hot. Mostly you're getting the vinegar. I kind of wish I had some Frank's Red Hot sauce right here right now. I'd dump some on this and uh, go from there. One day I'll, uh, Saucy Sunday, I'll review Frank's Red Hot and uh, give my opinion on it do some more gateway sauces if you will and uh, more traditional hot sauces that people try 
overall not a bad product like i said can't really beat uh, the price they got pretty good flavor i would say the vinegar gets a little overwhelming for the, the pork rinds i'm more of like the i like some of the sweet heat ones uh, the traditional hot ones some of that vinegar it gets a little overbearing then to me these actually taste a little bit more vinegary than what i remember frank's red hot actually tasting i know it's got some vinegar in it but I don't really remember it being as vinegary as what these are putting on. Still a good good snack. I'll definitely be snacking on these throughout the day. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. Got a pretty good hot sauce pack. Novelty pack, if you will. I bought me over the Christmas little holidays there, if you will. Going to be going live tomorrow, Saucy Sunday. And then we're going to jump into Star North Stream. You see a sticker right there i'm also going to be lowering this board changing my setup a little bit because if you see if i move my head that sticker right there which i'd never put it there it creates a massive glare and when i kind of move my head to block it i'm blocking some of the other cool stickers that's up there that i want to show so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lower that that board make it a little bigger add some other stuff to it uh, and then kind of portray my my desk if you will my table so when i want to do challenges or if i want to do drink reviews or anything if i want to show what's going on in front of me instead of just my head or my shoulders little floating head going on you'll be able to see that and it'll make it a lot easier for especially challenges and stuff like that drinks like i said i do beer reviews whiskey reviews so when i do those you'll see me pour them in the glass i'll have it sitting all out in front of me a little bit more professional setup like i said i'll be lowering this board and uh this sticker really don't mean that much to me. It's just kind of a little novelty sticker. It's not a channel sticker per se. So if I have to black it out, I tried to peel it off, but it's uh, stuck to that poster board pretty good. So we'll be doing some changes in the near future. Like I said, we'll be reviewing this hot sauce pack outdoor series hot sauce pack tomorrow live, Saucy Sunday live. And then we'll be jumping over at Sty North for Sty Story Sundays. And uh, give him a little saucy raid, start to stream off, and uh, go from there. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell for notification. All those good things. And uh, help the channel grow. Got some merchandise. So I'm trying to work on changing it, change my logo. So I'm not really dropping the Teespring link right now. Those are the ones that's ordered them. I really, really appreciate it. I'll uh, just consider it being like a throwback kind of a retro saucy merchandise so i'm gonna change that up a little bit and uh big changes are gonna be happening saucy shane channel so all for the good and all for the positive we gotta grow we gotta grow keep things moving but i hope y'all enjoyed this video like always stay safe out there and uh i'll see y'all tomorrow live saucy sunday live and we'll be reviewing this three pack of hot sauces so but I love y'all, and uh, like always, stay safe out there, and until next time.